Hey, this is Dan Johnson, one of the co-founders of Jura Search. Give me five minutes to show you how Jura Search can make your next jury selection much more organized. Here's how you can get into the app. Up here in the top right, just click on sign up for free. This is going to get you a free evaluation account. It's going to look like this. If you've got a Google account, one click and you're in. Otherwise, just put in your name, your email, password, click here and we'll create an account. This one's gonna be called Your Name. And the company that's gonna be created is Your First Company. The benefit of Juror Search is that your entire team can all communicate in real time on the same platform. So while you're logged in, so is your researcher, so is your paralegal, and so is anybody around the world that wants to help. Some of the ways you can add members here is one of the first things you could do. Just click on add new member and add as many folks as you want. With a one click, they can get an email and they'll be added to this account. You'll create a new trial over there, but first I'd just like to show you the sample trial. This is one default setting. You could change these columns to whatever you'd like. You can move them around to whatever you'd like. You can sort by juror number. You could sort by these ratings, which is also customizable. You could search for a note. And you could want and find that particular juror that you're looking for. Click on the juror's name and everything about that juror comes up all in one place. Create a PDF if you'd like. Change this around. It's totally customizable as well. If you don't want to see the survey questions, for example, you don't have to. Everything is customizable on this. The software moves around your system for jury selection. You don't have to learn our system. You can look at the jurors visually over here on the left. These are the different workflows. This is how you can look at the jurors in the box, seat more of them, create as many rows as you want. You can add in jurors this way. Let's say Joe Biden is another one we'd like to add. All you have to do, put in a first and last name and the juror is seated. You can uh, then change this, start putting in the ratings however you want, put in a note, and your entire team will see this at the same time. You'd like to leave a little note for somebody, maybe that's a cause, maybe that's a peremptory, this is your notes to yourself, all customizable any way you'd like to do it. These are um, hand raiser questions. Over here, we've got lots of features, take them or leave them, but this is another way that you can put in as many questions as you'd like, add in the questions that you want, and then you can keep track of them very quickly this way. Over here, let me quickly show you on the trial settings. There's a lot of features here. I just want to show you the basics so that in under five minutes, you can get a basic idea here. Uh, that your rating, you can change that. Maybe you're a one through one, two, three kind of person. You can do that. Maybe you like to see strike or heat, uh, whatever you want. We'll just go back to the default. The juror fields, you can create as many of these as you want. Perhaps you have a products liability case like Boeing. Create as many fields as you want. Show them any way you want. Maybe you don't want to get rid of, maybe you want to get rid of that. Everything's fully customizable. These columns that I mentioned before, we can change that around. Maybe we want to put the party in and we want to get rid of employment, say. And we want to move it around because we want we don't care about seat number here. And we really like that the strike, we want to put that up a little bit. So everything is customizable so it looks just the way you want to see it. This is a nice little feature. You have a shared Dropbox, essentially, for all of your files. How you get the jurors in, click on here to add a juror. Maybe uh, Kamala Harris is coming back to the Senate, say. You can add in more if you'd like. You certainly don't have to. That's not accurate, is it? She's got a postgraduate degree. Add in a photo if you want, but this is how you can quickly add in. You see how it instantly pops up again. So when you need to quickly add in jurors, you can do that. 
Let's go back to the home page where you can see as many trials as you want. This is how you can create a new trial very quickly. This is your trial. You can say how many peremptories you get in your jurisdiction. And I skipped it just so you can get right to it. In you go, add your first juror. First one's in, and then the rest of the team can get to work. That's how quickly you can add in jurors. And here they are again as a default. If you want to start striking them, you can do that. We'll say he's one of our peremptories. Uh, these are for, this is for Batson compliant. You want to make sure you stay Batson compliant so you've got a reason and it keeps track of everything up here for you. Over here quickly, you can also see uh, the juror strikes. You can see the people that have been struck. Maybe you made a mistake. You've always got a reason. You keep racial statistics if you keep track of race, if you'd like to, to ensure Batson compliance or to bring a Batson challenge on the other hand. And finally, once someone has been impaneled and they're no longer in the pool, off they go. You no longer need to worry about them and decide how you feel about the person and they show up in the impaneled section. Quick and dirty, lots of features here for you, but this is the most organized way for you to keep track of your next jury selection. Please give it a 